Hi, Doug Stuman with IT Creations. Today we'll be reviewing the 10th generation of HPE's ProLiant DL380. The new 2U two-socket server features Intel's scalable family of processors, delivering significant increases in performance over the previous generation Intel Xeon E5 and E7 V4 processors. New additions include an update to ILO for greatly enhanced security, and a new generation of storage controllers to take advantage of the supercharged speed of processing and throughput. The new platform delivers more storage, memory, and a multitude of other options to support diverse workloads. Highly adaptable and scalable, the Gen 10 DL380 is ideal for data centers, cloud, extreme virtual machine and container deployments, big data, and a host of other applications. Let's start with the system board. The DL380 Gen 10 features a new chipset from Intel, the C621, which supports Intel's new scalable family of processors with four tiers of performance. In a nutshell, the processor families are bronze, silver, gold, and platinum. The scalable family features a larger CPU requiring a larger socket, a new chipset, support for new NVMe storage, optionally integrated fabric, more cores, more memory channels, and new security features. The scalable family is an improvement over the previous generation E5 and E7 V4 processors in just about every aspect. By the way, we have a special offer to the first 100 customers who mention this video. If you're ready to make a purchase, we're offering $250 off our list price of one of HPE's Gen 10 systems valued at $2,500 or more. Just mention this video. Even if you're looking for something else, you really should check out IT Creations. And now, back to the review. The new processors deliver an impressive 27% increase in core count and a 71% gain in performance, depending on your choice of processor. Bronze processors are used for both single and dual socket applications, while the platinum processors are targeted at eight socket platforms, but can also be used for two and four socket platforms. The Gen 10 DL380 will support the whole family of scalable processors with four to 28 cores. Although I should mention the Gold Series actually has two variants, the 6100 and 5100 series, which are distinguished by the number of ultra path interconnect links between the sockets. Quick path interconnect or QPI was the standard for inter socket communications, but with the increased throughput and greater memory capacity supported on the scalable family, QPI has now been replaced by the Intel Ultra Path Interconnect, or Intel UPI. In comparison, QPI operates at speeds of up to 9.6 gigatransfers per second, while UPI operates at speeds of 10.4 gigatransfers per second. The Gold 5100 series is a lower cost version with two UPI links, while the Gold 6100 series CPUs offer three UPI links. This particular chassis is pre-configured at the factory and supports up to eight large form factor hard drives, a single scalable silver CPU with four cores, a single dual rank 16 gigabyte memory module, a single 500 watt PSU, and a P408i two gigabyte HD controller. This chassis will also support an optional optical drive carrier in the upper right front of the chassis. There are a bunch of chassis configurations, including an eight LFF drive chassis with universal media bay, which is what we have here today, a 12 large form factor hard drive chassis that supports an additional four large form factor drives using an optional mid-plane drive cage, or three large form factor rear mounted drives, or two by 2.5 inch rear mounted drives. There's also a 24 bay SFF drive chassis that can support an optional rear mounted drive cage with six SFF drives, an eight bay small form factor drive chassis with a universal media bay that can also support two optional front mounted SFF or two non-volatile NVMe drives and a 20 bay small form factor NVMe drive chassis with a partial population of box one on the front of the system. If you're familiar with the previous generation DL380, then you can see there are significantly more storage options. The system also supports tiered storage, running both SSDs for super fast access and HDDs for high capacity storage. For maximum storage, the 12 bay LFF chassis with four additional LFF drives supported in the mid-plane drive carrier offers a massive 190 terabytes of storage. SAS, SATA, and NVMe drives are supported. All drives are hot swappable, but the NVMe drives, which use a PCIe bus, cannot be removed until signal traffic flow is complete. In other words, wait for the LED on the drive carrier to stop blinking before you remove the drive to prevent data loss. And yes, there are specific smart carriers depending on what type of storage device is installed in your system. There's also an optional smart carrier that supports two six gigabit per second SATA microform factor drives. UFF drives enable administrators to install twice as many drives in the same carrier, increasing reliability and application availability. Oh, and let's not forget the M.2 storage stick that can be installed on the primary expansion card riser and the integrated micro SD card slot behind the power supply. Administrators can also install an optional dual SD card module that can be configured for mirror mode to support a fail-safe hypervisor. Moving onward, the P408i storage controller offers two gigabyte flashback write cache and supports both RAID and host bus adapter operations simultaneously. It supports eight internal SAS lanes to connect either SAS or SATA drives and comes with built-in encryption capabilities and a smart storage battery located just behind the HD backplane. It supports SAS at up to 12 gigabits per second or SATA at six gigabits per second. The controller sits in a dedicated storage slot preserving your PCI expansion slots for other uses. 
Several other newly developed Gen 10 storage controllers are supported and are designed to increase performance and data availability by up to 65% while using 45% less power. In a single processor configuration, the system comes with four fans. With a two processor configuration running standard workloads, it comes with six fans. With a fully loaded chassis including the 24 bay SFF and 12 bay LFF chassis with optional storage, six high performance fans are required. This system came with a single 16 gigabyte dual rank registered memory module that is capable of speeds of up to 2666 mega transfers per second depending on your choice of processor and memory configuration. With the current scalable silver CPU installed, memory speed is limited to 2400 mega transfers per second. To increase speed of processing, each processor supports six memory channels and two memory modules per channel for a total of 12 memory modules per socket and 24 DIMM slots total in a two processor configuration. All pre-configured DL380 Gen 10 models can be upgraded to support up to 3 terabytes of memory using 128 gigabyte LR DIMM modules in all 24 slots. Registered, load-reduced, non-volatile memory modules are supported on the system but cannot be mixed. Using persistent memory, the system can support over a terabyte of memory for some truly phenomenal performance with in-memory applications and analytic workloads. NVMe DIMMs require an HPE smart storage battery for backup power supply in the event of a power failure. There are a maximum of eight PCIe 3.0 expansion slots possible, depending on the number and type of riser and the number of processors installed. But keep in mind, the optional drive cages will claim some of those expansion slots if additional storage is required. A primary riser that ships standard supports expansion slots one through three plus an M.2 storage stick. A secondary riser supports expansion slots four through six and a tertiary riser can support two additional expansion slots. The second and tertiary risers require a second processor. If you opt for dual processors on the 24 bay 2.5 inch drive chassis and install all three rear mounted 2.5 inch drive cages, you'll be limited to only two expansion slots. With our pre-configured chassis, the system will support three PCIe slots total, one by 16 slot and two by eight slots, both full height. Of course, even if you do take up most of those expansion slots with additional storage, the system will still support massive IO with an embedded four by one gigabit Ethernet network adapter and an optional flexible LOM that can support four ports and 10 gigabits per second each. Of course, you can also install additional I.O. by using the remaining expansion slots. Flexibility is the name of the game with the DL380 Gen 10 and for graphics applications and high performance computing, the DL380 Gen 10 has expanded support for GPUs. The system will support up to five single wide or three double wide GPUs for graphics applications or enhanced computation. Administrators have a choice of options to power the system with the right size PSU for specific configurations and workloads. Choices include a 500 watt, 800 watt, and 1600 watt flex slot power supplies that share a common electrical and physical design across the Gen 10 performance server line. Security and management of the system have also been enhanced, starting with a striking new design for the front bezel, which can be locked, and the typical intrusion sensors. However, the real improvement is the integrated lights out management module. ILO 5.0 offers improvements at the firmware level and a new custom HPE silicone chip provides what HPE calls the silicone root of trust. The module has an immutable fingerprint in the silicone paired with new ILO firmware. Without getting into too much detail, the new and improved ILO 5.0 is designed to resist firmware attacks and prevent servers from running compromised firmware code. The server will not even boot up unless the firmware matches the fingerprint. If you're interested in learning more about ILO 5, we placed a few links in the description below. Other software offerings like Intelligent System Tuning help modify the scalable processor's frequency and cores for optimal performance, whatever your workload. The new Gen 10 systems are designed with an eye towards what HPE calls a composable infrastructure, basically the ability to combine standard compute storage and networking in unique configurations to meet specific workload needs. When your workload changes, the system can be recomposed at the physical level to accommodate the new workload, on demand, as things change throughout the day. The DL380 is the world's best-selling server, and the new ProLiant DL380 Gen 10 definitely takes this platform to another level. Highly scalable, flexible, and reliable, with enhanced security features, a composable infrastructure, and more efficient power supplies, all contribute to supporting workloads in any industry. We hope you enjoyed our short review of the HPE ProLiant DL380 Gen 10. We placed a few links in the description below if you're interested in learning more about the new features. If you liked this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions on this server or any other, and subscribe to our channel to be notified when we release a new video. I'm Doug Stuman, and thanks for watching.